Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1782, the first American commercial bank, the Bank of North America, opens. In 1795, the 11th Amendment to the United States Constitution is ratified. It affirms the power of the states rather than that of the federal government. In 1797, the modern flag of Italy is first used. In 1812, English author Charles Dickens is born. Also in 1812, one of the largest earthquakes in U.S. history occurred along the New Madrid Fault. Where is New Madrid? In the U.S. state of Missouri. In 1817, Baltimore becomes the first American city lit by gas street lamps. The first is turned on at Market and Lemon Streets, which are currently called Baltimore and Holiday Streets. In 1818, the first successful U.S. educational magazine, Academician, begins. In 1831, Belgium adopts its constitution. In 1845, the Portland vase, believed to date to the first century BCE, is shattered into more than 80 pieces by a drunken visitor to the British Museum. In 1857, French writer Gustave Flaubert is acquitted on a charge of obscenity for his work, Madame Bovary. In 1863, the HMS Orpheus sinks off the coast of Auckland, New Zealand, killing 189. In 1864, federal troops occupy Jacksonville, Florida. In 1867, beloved American author Laura Ingalls Wilder is born today. In 1876, U.S. President Grant's private secretary, Orville Babcock, is acquitted in the Whiskey Ring Scandal in St. Louis, Missouri. In 1882, the last bare-knuckle champion, John L. Sullivan, knocks out Patty Ryan in Mississippi. In 1884, the Canadian Rugby Football Union is formed. In 1885, satiric novelist and winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature, Sinclair Lewis is born. In 1887, U.B. Blake, American musician and composer, is born. In 1893, Vanderbilt University claims it participated in the first organized intercollegiate basketball game at the Nashville YMCA Gymnasium, where they say they beat the YMCA 9-3. In 1894, William Kennedy Dixon receives a patent for motion picture film. In 1904, a fire in Baltimore, Maryland destroys over 1,500 buildings in 30 hours. Also in 1904, the distress signal CQD is established. It is replaced two years later by SOS. In 1907, the Mud March is the first large procession organized by the National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies, or the NUWSS. In 1908, Philadelphia A's manager owner Connie Mack sells future baseball Hall of Fame pitcher Rube Waddell to the St. Louis Browns for $5,000. In 1914, Charlie Chaplin debuts his silent film character, The Tramp, in the movie Kid Auto Races at Venice. In 1920, the New York State Assembly refuses to seat five duly elected assemblymen from the Socialist Party of America. In 1927, the first transatlantic telephone service is established from New York City to London. In 1928, the first solo flight from England to Australia takes off from Croydon. It arrives 15 and a half days later. In 1936, a flag is authorized for the U.S. Vice President. In 1940, Disney's animated film Pinocchio had its world debut. In 1941, Frank Sinatra and the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra record Everything Happens to Me. In 1944, Bing Crosby records Swinging on a Star for Decca Records. It wins the Academy Award for Best Original Song. In 1948, Kentucky Air National Guard pilot Thomas Mantell crashes while in pursuit of a supposed unidentified flying object. Also in 1948, Omar Bradley succeeds Dwight Eisenhower as the U.S. Army's Chief of Staff. In 1949, Joe DiMaggio becomes the first $100,000 a year baseball player for the New York Yankees. That is close to $1.2 million in 2022. In 1950, Senator Joe McCarthy first fines communists in the U.S. Department of State. Also in 1950, 
the United States formally recognizes the state of Vietnam as the legitimate government of Vietnam. In 1958, the Dodgers officially become the Los Angeles Dodgers Incorporated. In 1959, the United States recognizes the new Cuban government of Fidel Castro. That didn't last long. In 1961, Jane Fonda made her acting debut in the NBC drama A String of Beads. In 1962, musician Garth Brooks is born. In 1964, the Beatles' first U.S. visit is today. In two days, they are on The Ed Sullivan Show, but I guess we need to wait two days to hear more about that. Also in 1964, Baskin Robbins introduces Beetle Nut Ice Cream. In 1966, comedian Chris Rock is born. In 1969, This Is Tom Jones debuts on ABC TV. Also in 1969, British rock band The Who record their song Pinball Wizard at Morgan Studios in London. In 1970, Hollywood Palace last airs on ABC TV. Also in 1970, Jingle Jangle by the Archies hits number 10 on the pop singles chart. In 1974, Grenada gains independence from the United Kingdom. Also in 1974, Mel Brooks' film Blazing Saddles opens in movie theaters. In 1976, Larry Grouchy's humorous song Junk Food Junkie peaks at number 9. In 1978, Ashton Kutcher is born. In 1979, Pluto moves inside Neptune's orbit for the first time since either was discovered. In 1980, U.S. President Jimmy Carter authorizes the legislation giving $1.5 billion in loans to bail out the Chrysler Corporation. Also in 1980, Pink Floyd premieres the live version of The Wall at the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena. California. In 1983, Elizabeth Dole is sworn in as the first female Secretary of Transportation. In 1984, NASA astronauts take the first untethered spacewalk. In 1985, the song New York, New York becomes the official anthem of New York City. In 1986, Jean-Claude Baby Doc Duvalier flees Haiti. In 1987, Madonna's Open Your Heart single hits number one today. Also in 1987, the U.S. Male Figure Skating Championship is won by Brian Boitano. In 1989, Prince Akihito is sworn in as the Emperor of Japan after the death of his father, Hirohito. Also in 1989, tennis superstar Bjorn Borg apparently attempts suicide in Milan. In 1990, the interior of the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy is closed to the public for safety reasons. Also in 1990, the Central Committee of the Soviet Communist Party agrees to give up its monopoly on power, beginning the dissolution of the Soviet Union. In 1991, Haiti's first democratically elected president, Jean Bertrand Aristide, is sworn in. In 1992, the European Union is established. In 1993, Carmen Electra releases her self-titled debut album, Carmen Electra. In 1994, Howard Stern stops a would-be jumper on the George Washington Bridge. In 1995, Ramsey Youssef, the mastermind of the 1993 World Trade Center bombing, is arrested in Islamabad, Pakistan. Also in 1995, Shania Twain's The Woman in Me, her second studio album, is released and becomes Billboard's Album of the Year in 1996. In 1998, the 28th Winter Olympic Games open in Nagano, Japan. In 1999, Jordan's Crown Prince Abdullah becomes the king upon the death of his father, King Hussein. Also in 1999, the Senate trial in the impeachment of Bill Clinton begins. In 2005, Ellen MacArthur breaks the speed record for sailing solo around the world. She did it in 71 days, 14 hours, 18 minutes. In 33 seconds. In 2006, Uma Thurman is named a Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters of France for outstanding achievement in the field of art and literature. In 2009, the Black Saturday bushfires in Australia kill 173, making it the worst natural disaster in Australian history. In 2010, Muslim gunmen in Egypt open fire on a crowd of Coptic Christians, killing eight of them and one Muslim bystander. In 2012, a hot air balloon crashes near Carterton, New Zealand, killing all 11 on board. In 2013, Mississippi became the last U.S. state to 
to officially abolish slavery. Yep, 2013. The state had ratified the 13th Amendment, but failed to submit the necessary paperwork at the time. In 2014, the 22nd Winter Olympic Games opened in Sochi, Russia. In 2015, Dean Smith, one of college basketball's most successful coaches, dies at age 83. In 2018, according to the UN, armed groups released 300 child soldiers from Yambio, South Sudan. Also in 2018, DNA analysis of Cheddar Man, the UK's oldest complete skeleton, shows he had dark skin and blue eyes. Also in 2018, in relation to DNA, all citrus fruit can be traced to the southeast foothills of the Himalayas, according to a DNA study published in Nature magazine. In 2019, Frank Robinson, the first black manager in Major League Baseball, passes away today at 82 years old. Also in 2019, measles cases in Europe are their highest in a decade, tripling to 82,596 in one year, according to the World Health Organization. This is also the case in the Philippines. And lastly, in 2021, Sarah Thomas becomes the first woman to referee a Super Bowl in Tampa Bay, Florida. Well, those were the highlights of February 7th. I hope you enjoyed them. Tomorrow will be the 8th, and then the 9th, and then the 10th. I'm just not going to stop, so you might as well watch all of them. <laughs>